What's going on guys, Ali and Adam here for Shamshir Sound. And today I wanna to show you what I would do if I have rendered stems that I want to mix down. So say you have like drums, vocal, bass, you have your tracks. Um, once you have your stems rendered, and if you're not familiar with that, there's a lot of videos that cover how to render individual stems in your normal project. But let's say you already have your stems. I wanna show you some tips for channel routing which will improve your workflow, which will speed up stuff. And so let's get started. So here I have a bunch of samples you can see is a lot. I'm gonna select all of them, Control A, and I'm just gonna drag them. I'm gonna hit Alt Tab. I'm gonna drag them in. And this will take a moment, and we'll be left with the 59 or so samples. And I'm gonna show you how you can route them quickly. You don't have to route them individually. I wasn't aware that you can route all of them just at once. So first things first, I'm gonna zoom out. I'm gonna hit control and scroll down with my mouse. One thing too is because we're dealing with a lot of stems, I would recommend switching the mixer from wide to compact so you can see a lot more of the mixer tracks. And we're going to hit control A. We'll move this up just so it's a bit neater. And all we have to do here is we can see we have all these samples. I'm gonna hit all just in case this is empty. And delete that. This green border around this rectangle here shows you which sample you have selected and you'll see it over here as well. So if you click on something you can route that but and of course there's different routing options you can use this you can open it and you can press this button which generates a new mixer track but I don't want to do that. I want to show you if you just double click you get them all selected and if you go to the first mixer track or wherever you want to start from, if you right click and go to channel routing and you go to route selected channels starting from this track, rather than selecting them all to one track, it will route them one by one. And there you can see they're all routed to their own designated channel. They have all their own channel. And this will speed it up, especially if you guys were routing it one by one or if you weren't aware of that feature makes it very fast, especially when you're doing mix downs with a lot of groups. Another thing that I like to do um, is of course, color them accordingly and organize them. But I wanted to talk about this channel routing tip. It's a very short tip, but it's something that I feel is very crucial because it's integral to your workflow when you're working on a mix down or a master or something. Similarly, um, I've done videos on my old channel on the Ali and Adam channel. Um, talking about you know how you can rename groups and just remember if you want to click multiple hold control and left click you can move around channels you can hold alt and move the arrow left to right and move channels accordingly and similarly with a channel or more than one channel selected you can hit F2 and you can choose a color for it so I hope you guys like this. Um, this is definitely essential. I do this all the time, especially if I'm rendering a project and I'm doing a mix down afterwards. The channel routing is so easy because imagine channel routing each one one by one. That would just be nonsense. So hope you guys like this. A uh, quick little tip for your master mixer type of stuff. If you guys like this short video, remember to smash the like button, drop a comment. I figured I just want to make this little tip video before I head out to the gym to make some gains. And I will see you guys in the next video. Take care, guys. Have a great day.